I am going to tell about SAP PM interview questions and answers. Let's start. All the best. Questions number one, what is object information key in SAP PM? So, object information key, a special information window, pops up while creating maintenance notification. It contains a brief historical information about the technical object. Questions number two, what is difference between system status and user status? So, system status is in standard SAP element, which set internally by SAP when we post certain transaction in SAP. However, user status is a configurable element, which can be configured in SPRO to make certain transaction more informative and systematic. User status can control certain business transactions allowed by system status. For X, we can stop the system status notification completion, no go, unless a user status, PRCN, production confirmation, is not set. Questions number three, what is a planner group? So, planner group is the group of people who does maintenance planning in a planning plant. It is created and assigned to a planning plant. It is a three-digit alphanumeric key. For example, Planner group can be created according to different departments. ELE, electrical. MEC, mechanical. CDL, civil. INS, instrumentation. Questions number four, what is main work center? So, main work center is group of people who does maintenance execution in the field. It is an eight-digit alphanumeric key. Examples of main work center. LX0001, electrical. MEC0001, mechanical. MECWORK01, mechanical workshop. ELERC01, electrical workshop. CIVIL001, civil. We can assign employee IDs to a main work center. Questions number 5, what is plant section? So. Plant section is used to subdivide the maintenance plant from the point of view of production responsibility. The person responsible for the plant section is the contact for coordination between production and plant maintenance. The plant section can be used in reports. In different types of industries it is used to manifest the section ID and description because most of the clients do not want to display the name of responsible production in charge of that section. Questions number six, what is the difference between maintenance plant and planning plant? So, maintenance plant is the place where all machinery is physically installed. This machinery undergo maintenance periodically. On the other hand, planning plant is the place where we do the maintenance planning of the machinery, technical object, which is installed in maintenance plant. Questions number seven, what are different types of planning can be done in SAP PM module? So, in SAP PM, we can have three types of planning. Centralized planning. Localized planning. Partially centralized slash localized planning. Questions number eight, why cost center field is important in Equipment Master? So, cost center field is important in Equipment Master because at the time of creating the maintenance order with reference to equipment it automatically copies to the maintenance order location tab under account assignment subscreen and then it automatically populated in the settlement profile depending upon the SPRO settings in settlement profile. It is important for breakdown, corrective, preventive, calibration, and predictive maintenance because in these processes the maintenance cost is settled on cost center. Questions number 9, is it possible to create and schedule a maintenance plan without task list? So, yes, it is possible to create a maintenance plan without task list, but we cannot create a maintenance strategy plan without task list because maintenance cycle, maintenance package, is adapted from task list and without maintenance cycle we cannot create a maintenance plan. Questions number 10, can we assign more than one maintenance item to a maintenance plan? So. Yes, we can assign more than one maintenance item to a maintenance plan. There could be a business situation when we need one maintenance cycle and start date for two technical objects. We can use this feature in such time. 
If we create different plans with different dates, then it may create orders with different dates, and this will increase technical object downtime. Questions number 11, how breakdown maintenance and corrective maintenance are different from each other. So, here are the key difference between breakdown and corrective maintenance. Malfunction start slash ends date and time are recorded for breakdown, but same are not applicable for corrective maintenance. Affixing a minor leakage in a pipe by tightening the pipe or welding the pipe is an example of corrective maintenance. On the other hand, if winding of a motor burned off due to overload and motor fails to start, then it is an example of breakdown maintenance. Questions number 12, how refurbishment process is different from other business processes? So, here you go. Refurbishment process is mapped with order type PM04. Refurbishment order is created with reference to a material. Cost of refurbishment is settled on a material, not cost center or WBS element. We need to activate split valuation in material master. It updates the moving average price of the material, refurbished, after settlement. Refurbishment order can be created by T code IW81 also. Questions number 13, which business process cover the maintenance of laboratory equipment? So, calibration process covers maintenance of laboratory machinery. Over a period of time, the laboratory equipment start giving incorrect values, therefore they need recalibration. There should be a separate order type to track the history and costing. Generally, companies take help from a vendor to recalibrate the machines. If we do not do it, then quality checks at the various stages of supply chain may go wrong. Questions number 14 Why does settlement of a maintenance order is important? So, settlement of a maintenance order is important because if we will not settle the cost on a valid receiver, such as cost center, internal order, WBS element, etc., then cost will remain on the maintenance order and not reflect in management reporting. Management reporting is important for profitability analysis. Questions number 15 What are various possible settlement receivers in a maintenance order? So, for the maintenance, there are a number of settlement or cost receivers, but only few are relevant in practical scenario. Here is the list of relevant settlement receivers Cost center, WBS element, material, order. Fixed asset. Thanks for watching. We are here to boost your career.